Put a finger down if you can relate to these, okay? The more fingers that you have down, I feel like the more this video is gonna help you. And these are all things that I had and that I had to learn how to get through. Put a finger down if you have a very unhealthy relationship with food. Sometimes we'll eat healthy and then if you don't eat healthy, you hate on yourself and you feel guilty about it. So then you go back into the healthy eating cycle, but then one day you have seven donuts and basically you haven't figured out the diet that just works for you and makes you feel good after. Put a finger down if you had a really bad relationship with working out where you would over exercise and have some progress and then get lazy and stop working out and then start feeling shitty about yourself again and then feeling guilty about not working out so then you go back into the cycle of hating your body and overworking it and sometimes you're a couch potato and sometimes you're Chloe Ting and you just don't really know the middle. Put a finger down if you just can't stop comparing your body to literally every living, breathing soul on this planet, whether it be an Instagram model or someone that you see on the street. The first thing that you do is just compare what they have in their body, face, whatever that you don't have and then start feeling shitty about yourself. Put a finger down if you would set the image of like an Instagram model or like a really thick girl as your background of your phone so that every time you remember you don't eat and you urge yourself to keep working out. And put a finger down if you're just so fucking exhausted with not being happy in your body. Hi guys, it's Haley here and today we're going to be filming a girl talk video all about just learning how to be happy in your own skin and just be confident in the body that you have. I feel like no matter how often people tell you that you're perfect in your body and just to love yourself, from personal experience, like that never really helped me learn how to love myself. It just wasn't enough to hear that from other people. It had to be like something that I learned on my own and it's really, really hard to do that when there aren't any like tangible tangible steps. If you put fingers down for those, then I promise you this video is going to help you because that's exactly the mental state that I was in for a very long time, especially like right when I hit puberty, like when I was 13 up until I was like 16, 17, the peak of my teenage years when you're the most aware, at least for me, of your body. Eating disorders don't just affect you physically, they also affect you mentally. That was the most exhausting period of time in my life. It takes so much work just constantly being unpleased with who you are constantly hating your body life already throws so much shit at you it's so much easier coping with other struggles when you're confident in your own self because like that's the one thing that I've realized we can be sure of once you move through life just loving yourself and being confident in yourself it makes everything else and all the other struggles a lot easier to handle now that I feel like I am like mentally healthy about how my body is like looking back at it I just feel so bad for that girl that had to go through that that's the reason I want to film this video because I know so many of my viewers are probably going through the same shit that I went through and I didn't really have anyone to just help me get through it I didn't even know like I had an eating disorder until looking back at it years later yeah everyone would be like just love yourself like you're perfect and I'd be like no I'm not this girl on Instagram is perfect look at her waist look at her bubble butt obviously we're not all perfect you're just saying that to make me feel better like that would be my automatic reaction to anyone telling me like love yourself you're perfect you're amazing so as someone who totally 100% gets you like I know what you're going through I went through the same thing I'm gonna give you some advice that's actually like tangible things that you can implement into your life like starting now like after you watch this video that hopefully doing all those things get you to a point where you can just start healing yourself it has to come from within no matter how many times someone tells you that you are perfect and beautiful it won't be true until you believe it in yourself and it's so valuable and rewarding once you do so let's get into this I'm gonna take you back to my journey I was like 13 14 in middle school I remember like seventh grade seventh or eighth grade that's like when I first started being aware of the body that I had like before then like I was a kid you know I would do kid things have seven ice creams in the summer and walk around with the biggest food baby and not give a fuck and then once middle school hit that's also like around the time when like social media was blowing up to give like a time stamp Think of like the Alexis Ren, Jay Alvarez like phase where like everyone was a fucking travel influencer in their teeny tiny Frankie bikinis flailing around on some white sand blue ass water beach and posting it all over Instagram and me as a middle schooler I was 14 like my body probably just started forming into like woman's body I would look at these pictures of Alexis Ren poor girl I don't mean to hate on Alexis Ren be like I'm gonna work 
work so hard at the gym and I'm gonna eat so healthy and my body is gonna look like that. And that's where the problem started. I wasn't working out or eating healthy because I wanted to be strong or I wanted to be healthy or anything like that. I was doing that because I wanted to look a certain way. And that certain way happened to be like Alexis Ren, the poppin' Instagram baddie of the era. I would like take screenshots of like Victoria's Secret Angels and set it as my phone background as a 14 year old, like as a 15 year old. And I would like look at it in the morning and be like, okay, like I'm eating healthy this is inspo branding it to myself as something that was actually beneficial for me and I would go to the gym and I would just like overwork the shit out of myself and then I think I realized that it was a problem when no matter how much I worked out I was not satisfied with my body and that's what the comparison game does to you I'm gonna insert pictures of what I looked like I'm pretty sure I had body dysmorphia because when I looked in the mirror I would literally think I was huge I'm like pretty under weight like I would try so hard to have a thigh gap because all these brandy models had thigh gaps the way that my bones are structured will never allow me to have a thigh gap unless I'm underweight like unless I'm unhealthy and that just like wouldn't go through my head I would literally be like I don't have a thigh gap because I'm just not skinny enough it doesn't have anything to do with my bone structure and it had everything to do with my bone structure and that's what social media does to you it forces you to fit into these standards that are literally impossible to attain it, it's the truth because literally the girl I was trying to look like Alexis Ren came out like a couple years later being like I had an eating disorder guys so I was looking up to someone else that was struggling in their own bodies by the way I did like a I think I realized it was getting bad when I specifically remember this thought going through my head every video on YouTube that's like how to be healthy I watched it and like obviously the first thing everyone says is like drink a lot of water so I was like trying to be healthy drinking a lot of water and then one day I remember being like when I drink water I get bloated and like I'm trying to be skinny like why would I want to be bloated so I'm just gonna start drinking less water like that's what went through my head now like remembering that go through my head I'm like that is a problem that is an eating disorder like girl you needed help it got to a point where it started affecting my mental health when you're not happy with the vessel like given to you that allows you to experience life you're not happy with the experience of living either and then this one specific thing that i read one day kind of like flipped a switch for me it was a post and it said your body is like your home when you don't like your home or if your home is falling apart you don't just break it down even more you figure out a way to repair it and heal it so that you can continue living in your dream home that's kind of like when i internalized everything it was almost like there were two parts of me where like i as a person would view my body as like an outsider like i would be critiquing it being like this could be more in like this could be fatter like this could be skinnier like I kind of like detached myself from it but like reading that for the first time I was like hold on a second like what I'm hating on is my home like I don't have another home to like shelter under like this is what I have and if I'm hurting it and I'm breaking it and I hate this home so much living in it is going to be a nightmare for me all the time and that's the last thing that I wanted so when I finally like stopped looking at my body as like an outsider critiquing it and instead I just kind of like stepped in it for the first time and was like I'm so sorry that I made you go through this like we're on the same team like your body and you you're one like you're you're fighting for the same purpose like treat your body like you would actually treat your own home overworking out and then not working out for six months and then not eating enough being malnourished and then next day eating really like high processed donuts like those are things that are hurting my home I need to find a way that's gonna build it up up because we are one that's when I was like instead of hurting you and trying to like get you to look like this Instagram model who's struggling herself in her own mental state I instead I'm going to heal you I'm going to be nice to you just like you make sure that you're consuming healthy foods for example you need to make sure that the media that you're consuming is healthy too the mind also needs to be nourished in a way that's healthy the first thing that I did is I went through Instagram and any Instagram baddie out there 
there that made me feel like shit about my own self. You know when you're following someone because they make you a better person or you learn from them or they serve you inspiration versus you follow them because you want to keep up to date with them because you're obsessed with constantly comparing yourself to their Instagram. Like for example for me like Stassi Baby, My Father Kells, like they're all such beautiful girls but growing up I noticed like I would be scrolling on Instagram and looking at their pictures and then not really feel good about myself. I would constantly compare myself to them and before I could like get to the root of the problem which was something that was within me that felt the need to compare myself to them before I could fix that issue I just had to like set a boundary before I got there. So that meant I unfollowed all those girls like all those really beautiful gorgeous girls. I didn't want to see them on my feed anymore because I was basically like detoxing my life from everything that would trigger me to compare myself to other people and then hate my body after that or my face or my lifestyle. This is something that you can apply to everything. It doesn't just have to do with body. I unfollowed Alexis Ren for the longest time because I was like, as gorgeous as you are, your pictures are beautiful. It makes me feel shitty about my life and my body and what I look like. So I'll come back when I'm healed and then I'll actually be able to enjoy your pictures or whatever is the reason that you want to follow them back. Maybe you will realize you never want to follow them back. Just go on your Instagram and just ask yourself with every single person, does seeing this person's pictures make me feel better about myself or does it just make me envy their lifestyle, envy what they look like? So that's the first thing that we're doing. The second thing we're doing is if you're on some kind of diet where you know you're like, okay, I'm only eating these and these and these foods, I think before you can do like intermittent fasting or keto or whatever, there's a bajillion diets. Diets have never worked for me because I think we're humans. We have like a divine like force within us. We're not supposed to, you know, think about what we eat so much. Like you're supposed to be eating because you're trying to survive. You're not supposed to be like eating a certain way because you want to look a certain way or whatever the case is. If you're following a diet where you have cheat days, get that out. We do not want that. You need to lean more into just like being more intuitive. We're natural creatures. It doesn't have to be that hard. Your body already has reflexes literally professionally designed by whatever divine designer that lets you know, hey, I'm hungry. If you're malnourished, your body lets you know. A diet kind of like goes against the whole purpose of that. If you just tune in with your body and you're more more intuitive about what you feed it, it's going to work wonders better than any weekly diet program that you bought for $39.99 at 2 a.m. because you had this like two second pump of motivation to start this healthy lifestyle. Throw all the weekly diet programs in the trash. Stop listening so much to what other people tell you you have to eat to be healthy. Like you have yourself for that and it's more accurate than anyone. Start asking yourself, how do I feel after I eat this? Like how does my body feel when I have a well-balanced breakfast versus when I have frozen waffles that I throw in toaster oven and then have it really fast. How do I feel for the rest of the day when I do that versus that? Your intuition gives you the best hints. It's like we've chosen to block them out and listen to like an Instagram foodie instead. And life's supposed to be kind of fun also. And if this year has taught us anything, it's that life is so unpredictable and you don't know if you're going to die tomorrow and I don't want to die knowing that like I refused a slice of cheese pizza because it wasn't my cheat day. When I eat whole nutrient packed foods, I feel better in my body. When I feel better in my body, I have more energy and that makes me want to you know, get up and do a workout. But I'm not like forcing myself to do it because I want to look a certain way. Like when you wake up in the morning and you feel like really stiff, that is what makes me want to get out my yoga mat and work out because I'm like, I haven't been moving a lot, you know? My body is stiff and it's telling me hey you need some movement and that's why I'm gonna choose to work out right now not because I want a bubble butt you have to think about the big picture like our bodies weren't designed so that we can take pictures for Instagram like our bodies were technically designed so that we could be hunter gatherers and be able to be strong so that we can survive and get our food whatever the fact that you're putting your body through something it wasn't 
meant to be doing in the first place is what renders it so impossible. That's why it's so exhausting. And that doesn't mean like everyone YOLO, let's all just like eat whatever we want, don't work out whenever. Because personally, like if I eat a lot of processed junk foods, I just start feeling shitty. It's so much easier to move around life when the force that's like pushing you is based in love rather than hate. I'm really turning into one of those like preacher sisters right now, but these are things that have really genuinely changed my life. I would want someone to sit me down when I was 15 and say these things to myself. I posted this picture on Instagram. I was doing the like show me a photo trend on Instagram and someone asked me to post a picture I've never posted. So I posted this picture and then I got a bunch of DMs being like, oh my God, your body's so great. Like, what do you do? What's your hack? Uh, I guess this is my hack. This video is my hack. I wish I looked like you. And then I was like, oh my God, poor girl. Like that's what was going through my head when I was this age and I feel so bad for her. And then I posted this picture asking you guys to send in your questions related to like body positivity. And like, look at the two pictures. Like they were literally taken a second apart. Like I didn't eat anything in the meantime. We're supposed to be hunter gatherers, right? So our body moves along with us. Like you're supposed to roll and you're supposed to have stretchy parts. And if something wasn't normal, it wouldn't have happened in the first place. So how do you motivate yourself to exercise and eat healthy? I think the motivation motivation comes when you are in tune with yourself. Then you recognize like maybe if it's so hard for you to go to bed at night, it's actually because you're not moving around during the day as much. So you still have like bottled up energy and you need to get it out and you need to release it and work out. And while you're doing that, you become stronger. Now, what motivates me to work out is the fact that like, I know that when I'm working out, I'm getting stronger. My body's releasing endorphins and that makes my mental health better. So I constantly want to be in that state. So why would I not do something that's gonna make me happier and enjoy life better? For me, like my mental health was more important than trying to look like Alexis Wren. So I just kind of like changed my source of motivation by switching that perspective. Somehow I always find myself finding flaws in my body, face. I can't stop bullying myself. Treat yourself how you would treat a friend. I don't think I would ever bully a friend about something that they have on their face. And why wouldn't you bully your friends? Because one, it doesn't matter what they look like. I don't care about what my friend looks like. I just need you to be a good human to me. If my friend has a thigh gap or not, is not gonna change my opinion of what kind of a person they are. So if you're that compassionate towards your friends, why aren't you that nice to your own self? Friends come and go. Friends can do you wrong, but you don't do that to yourself. So why are you being so harsh on yourself when it comes to things that you can't even control? And to be real with you guys, I think it's about a greater awareness and even all of that. I just kind of realized how physical appearance should be the last thing that determines my worth. I want someone to appreciate me and love me because they think I'm smart or they think I'm funny or they think I'm a good person or I'm kind or I'm honest. I think those are things that are a lot more valuable. I would really want to ask myself, the girl that was struggling, I would say, why do you want to have this Alexis Ren body, right? Maybe that person would lie to me and say, because it's going to make me confident. I'm going to be healthy. Even though like that's a lie because obviously you know that the way that you're trying to get to that point is anything but healthy. But you tell yourself you're trying to do it because you want to be healthy, right? And then what? You're going to pose in a hot bikini pic and then post it. Impress maybe a few guys. There's this guy you really want. You want him to think you have a big butt. Is it because, you know, you want to post really sexy bikini pictures and have everyone be like, God damn it, shoddy. And then I'm like, yeah, but like, would that satisfy? me? If some stranger on the internet or my friends or whatever around me saw that I have this smoking ass body on Instagram, what do I gain from that? Like, I don't want people to appreciate me and want to be my friend and think highly of me because I have a big butt and a skinny waist. Like, I want them to appreciate me because I'm a good person. So why would I like invest my energy into how I look when I can use that energy to make myself a better person? When I get comments that are like, you're so beautiful beautiful. It's almost like they just fly through my head. I would much rather someone say to me, I think you're so smart and I learned this from you and that made my life easier. So I thank you for that. Like I'll take that over a, you're so pretty or your body is so great any day. 
okay if i'm working out it's for me it's not for you to be impressed by me working out like what does my body have anything to do with you and if someone wants me around someone wants to be my friend they want to follow me on instagram because i look good on the outside the value of that connection is going to be as surface level as what physical appearance literally is on the surface. If you wanna be healthy, and if you wanna work out, and you wanna eat healthy, do it because it's gonna make you feel better. When you shift that perspective and you look in the mirror, instead of like noticing hip dips or a skinny waist or whatever, you start noticing, look at my muscles, like they're pretty defined. I'm getting stronger, I'm becoming healthier. I feel like I talked a lot. I hope that this could help you. Don't forget to subscribe for more Girl Talk videos. Oh, also, this is my new pink couch in my office space. I'm working on the wall here you're strong and you're beautiful it's really gonna mean something when you can say those things to yourself instead of me just saying them to you through a camera okay i love you guys so much all the way to pluto and back bye